Hey guys, you're watching the Form First podcast. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one. It's actually been five months. We did uh, the last one we did was with Frank Guastella from Harrison mm. Township. Um, he's kind of a, a legend in sightless training. He's he's an older gentleman, but he's I mean he's been doing sightless training for I think four or five years. He comes he just did his thousandth workout, so it's been quite a while since we've yeah. done this. So we wanted to kind of uh, get some fresh blood in here and kind of uh, talk about a few things. So we brought in um, two guys from the mothership, one in uh, Justin Rubel and the other one in Brendan Barcume. Got that name right. Um, and the reason why I brought them in uh, was specifically because um, actually Kathy asked a question on Facebook. So I, I kind of threw something out there and said, hey, I'm having these guys on the podcast. Is there anything that you want to ask them or anything you want to talk about? And her question for you is pretty much the reason why I had you guys on is um, she said that you guys are still fairly new. Uh, you started, Brendan, you started uh, December 16th, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And you've done 42 workouts, and you started August 8th of last year, and you've done 96 workouts, which is, I mean, that's a ton. So you guys are pretty much, I mean, pretty close to, you know, same pace. Mm -hmm. And I know you're doing a race coming up, so you're kind of tapering a little yep. bit, but we'll get yep. into that. Um, you guys are new. But it seems like you guys picked up on the form first mentality pretty quickly, which is not the norm. Usually people kind of, they're figuring out the exercises. Then they're like, oh, there's a score involved. Okay, I see my score going up. Okay, I'm going to chase that. And then, you know, form usually comes a little bit later because you, you don't really understand what that is. But Kathy wanted to know, what is it that got you guys to understand the importance of form and how that trumps your score first? Like, what, like what made that resonate? with you guys as opposed to maybe other people that are starting off. Is there anything that you can speak to? Yeah, so, um, you know, before joining Cyphus, I was pretty active in working out, you know, trying to get, you know, a better fitness mentality. And uh, so once I came here and joined, I immediately loved like high intensity interval workout. That's what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And my end goal joining here and my journey the past couple years has been to be more physically fit, have a better, you know, physical mentality. And so immediately it was, okay, I'm working out with these people. They're, they're preaching form first. Like, they're the ones that are in shape. They're the ones that are killing these workouts. So it was never in the beginning even like a, a score to chase. It was like, I know what I want to do, what I want to accomplish. So the form is what I want to chase. And kind of like doing the form is making my number grow. So. so you're saying that some of the people that were here that you said were killing the workout? Yeah. Th those are the ones that you – seemed like they were the ones that were saying form first or like had like this yeah yeah so i mean like you know mike and joe and the other trainers it's like they're preaching form first and like okay they're the trainers they're the ones that are doing this for years there's a reason they're saying it the score was never really like the got the thing that got me it was like the yeah. workout it was like getting the sweat on getting getting the rolling and that's what kind of like drew me to this class was yeah. it was the actual workout so yeah for me i mean having the form first mentality was really um just trying to get the most out of it right i, I never really wanted to chase a score. Mm -hmm. um, I saw it as, you know, kind of almost injury prevention, right? Oh, totally. Doing exercises the right way yeah. lengthens the time that you can continue to be active, yeah. right? So if you're doing things, if you're doing these exercises the way they're created to do, mm -hmm. right, you're going to be able to go farther over time. Yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, I, I had you know, poor performance and things I did in the past, ended up in physical therapy, and since then, it's like, all right, well, if I slow down and do things the right way, I can avoid going yeah. down that path going mm -hmm. forward, right? So for me, it was just, okay, you know, slow down, do yeah. it right. You're going to get more out of it in the long run. Right. Now, you said uh, poor form, doing, like, workouts yeah. prior to this. Yeah. Like, is there, like, how would, how would you work out prior to doing this? So prior to doing this, <laughs> I mean, I, I was pretty standard gym goer, right? Like, run a little bit and then yeah. 40 minutes, bench, do, throw right. some weight, and then leave. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and really have the only concept I had of how to work out was what I learned, you know, in, in high school, yeah. you know, working out for football or whatever. And uh, whatever your coaches would, would tell you how to how to work out. Right. And you just carry that in through the next five or six years. So you really have no concept of um, proper form mm -hmm. um, or proper progression of how, you know, how to get the most out of workouts. So coming here and actually having some structure around it and, mm -hmm. and having such a uh, keen focus on form. Yeah. Um, give me a better idea of, OK. If you do things this way over time, you're going to max out your results. See, and that, to me, that's a like a systemic issue with the educational system is that PE is not really educating P 
people on how to you know exercise properly which is really i mean i i had a workout class in high school that was just like the uh the wrestling coach would just sit there on his clipboard not like not help out or anything. it was just like free you know free right. period you do, right. do whatever but really there needs to be a more um i guess well-rounded approach because physical fitness is such an important piece obviously of anybody's life and more and more people i don't say more and more people are doing it compared to the general population that's not true but more and more people are seeing how important it is but no one's really being taught the right way and not everyone can afford a personal trainer and, and all that kind of stuff so i mean i think syphus does a good job of kind of wrapping all that together yeah. but it, if it started earlier it would probably do a lot of injury prevention and help people understand the importance yeah. of it yeah i mean I, I think if you're focusing on form and doing things the right way, each individual person is going to get more out of it than if you take the max reps, max weight approach, right? If everyone in the in the class, you know, using your P example, is trying yeah. to hit 225 on a bench, right? Yeah. People are going to be doing it wrong trying to hit, you know, 17 reps to get above the guy that did 16 or whatever. Mm -hmm. But if each individual person is focusing on how they're doing it properly, everyone is going to benefit from that. Right. Right. So a lot of that comes down to your initial motivation to exercising. So like, what is it that's getting you to exercise in the first place? If it's, you got to lose weight, you know, if you got to lose weight to get, you know, a healthier you know, body and, 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 you know, help your aging process, that's one thing you're probably going to be pretty motivated you know, to do that. But if you're doing it for vanity reasons, or if you're trying to, you know, look jacked, like, I mean, that's how, that's how I wanted to be at sure. one point. Yeah. You know, trying to hit 225 or do it you know, how many of her reps, that's, I mean, that's going to maybe, you're not going to look at form as, as much, you right. know, so. You're like, it's like the outside is, is uh, which folks now, but like the inside, the muscles, kind of doing it the wrong way, so. Right. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 and <clears throat> mentally, too, I think if you're able to align your intentions or your, the reasons for why you're working out with something that's a little bit more, I don't want to say altruistic, but something that's more, um, that can last you a longer, you know, lifetime. Right. Of, of exercise then that'll be something that you kind right. of stick yeah. with so all right so i mean that that's exactly i mean that's exactly how i wanted to start it off <laughs> um that's perfect because i mean she kind of hit the nail on the head when she asked the, um that question one thing i wanted to ask you about do you remember almost exactly a year ago what episode it was that we shot uh what was in may it it was the end of april the last one in april so not the last one we did, the last, the year ago one? A year, yeah, one year ago. It was a night like tonight. That should maybe gave it away. Was it the, the outtakes one? Mm-hmm. Oh, episode, episode 20. Uh, so I had just gotten, I think I got, like, our second camera. I got that, like, new mic. And I, I still don't know exactly what I'm doing, but, you know, we're trying to test all this stuff out. I got, I don't know why I put like the camera or I put the no, spotlight we, or something like that. We had, yeah. we, were, we had like the, the ladder. Yeah. We were trying to do something <laughs> with, I don't know what the hell we were doing. First time using a mic. That's what it was. Yeah. We were testing the mic. Yeah. yeah. And then the alarm went off. So we, uh, anything that could have gone wrong in, in, in a podcast went wrong. And we, we ended up shooting it in a different angle too. We're like facing out that way. It was a nice night like tonight. We're like, oh, we'll keep the doors open yeah. and nice, mm -hmm. and nice and cool and stuff. And uh, sure enough, we're in the middle of talking and, and, something happened to where the alarm at the uh, Mercedes dealership went off and it was going off for 20 minutes and we were just like, they're not, it's not going to pick it up. We're just going to, we're just going to talk over it. Left the doors God. open. You couldn't hear a word we were saying. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so long story short, we ended up recording the entire thing. And the only thing I could keep were the things that were like just hilarious and totally out. Like, yeah. So I, I just thought it was funny That's to kind of, funny. yeah, that was, could have been one of the best podcasts we've done, even though it was, a debacle. You guys have good memories now talking yeah. about this. So yeah. okay. It's funny, I was actually Jesus. thinking about that this morning because um, I wore like a I Heart the 90s shirt. And yes. For, and for some reason, there's like a, I think that's in, it's, there's a picture of it somewhere and I just thought of it today thumbnail. grabbing this table. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's either the thumbnail or I, I use it for like the form first, uh, like I have like a trailer yeah. on, the, on, the, on the website. The, the reason why I remember it is because I looked it up. I was like, okay, you know, like when, when was the last episode that we, we we shot and I, I needed to get like the, the angles for you guys. And stuff. Okay. So, okay. yeah. So, um, let's, let's talk about March mayhem a little bit. Cause I mean, it's been five months since we've shot one of these. So there's kind of a lot that's gone on in the site world since, um, you guys were partners, right? Sure. That's right. Okay. So 
Talk to me about, I mean, you guys, I mean, we've been doing this for a long time. What, what, what was it like being your, uh, your first time at it, but I guess the first time at it and then also having, you know, people that have been doing it for a while and kind of like know the experience. Like, just tell me about like your experience with Mayhem. Well, I don't know. It was pretty cool. I mean, we first heard about it, like March Madness. That's pretty cool. March Mayhem. So I just like, it's competition because this is all like you're on your own on Cyphus doing your own thing and now you get a partner so like okay what's that about at first I was like oh Maddie my fiance like, let's be partners and Kathy's like no you're not doing that like, you gotta get someone who's like your yeah. same level yeah. yep. and I was like okay like I don't know anyone here they put me on a board like mm -hmm. Justin needs a partner guys and I'm like alright I'm Justin like help me out and then Mike reaches out to me and says you know this guy Brendan kind of same level I think you guys will drive together and yeah. uh, going into it we didn't really know what to do because they said you have to prep and practice for it. And um, all we know is you're just your score versus the other score. And yeah. we kind of just wanted to go into it. And yeah, it was a good time. It was who, awesome. Time. Who, yeah. who bounced you guys out? Do you remember? Was it, I, don't, I don't know. Do you? Was it uh, Brownstone somewhere? No, no. It was someone no, here. It was here. Oh. It was, yeah, it was so here. when they were going, because they did well. I knew they, they were, were working out. Positive. They had gone. Then we, the did pretty, we did right. pretty well. Like We had a pretty high. We missed by like a task. Yeah. It was, um, it was Jason and Kelly. Oh, and they were actually well. Jason was here yeah. while they were working out. They had already gone. Jason and Kelly had already gone. We didn't gone. say. Oh, we didn't tell them. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, but, well, yeah. I mean, Jason yeah. knew we went. You know. Yeah. So they were working yeah. out here, and Jason was right next to them. But he didn't. He had. He would have no clue you know, where I, he had the kid or whatever. Right. But, yeah. But um, well, we we knew they already went. Yeah. So we were like. Yeah. I mean, it was we, just we knew it was him too. So random yeah. that he was in the same class yeah. while you're going. So it, for us, it's <clears throat> awkward because right, we can't. We could cheer for you guys. Yeah, going, you know, right, like, right. One more. Just, like, yeah. Yeah. You got to let it just play just out. Right? Yeah, just, yeah. You have a question, we'll answer your question. And yeah. almost it like puts a little more pressure on us to make sure that, okay, you're doing the right form. Yeah. You're not doing right. anything the wrong way. Because right. then if we let something slide, you're like, what the heck? You right, yeah. 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 Somebody's watching. Right. So, yeah. It's it's interesting Like when you get to like the, I mean, it's for, at least for me, the finals. It's like, all right. That was one thing I was pretty like proud of when I like we put together like a, not a highlight reel, but essentially like we just show like the, the video of the, the the finals. It was nice to see how much I think we critiqued form this year, uh, you know, as opposed to years past. Just because I, I kind of highlighted some stuff that we you know critiqued mm -hmm. and stuff. So it, it's it's good to kind of make sure that it's I don't want to say fair. I mean it's it's fair I think by itself, but um, it's it's an opportunity to show people okay these are the things that we're we're gonna you know pick out and it also helps the other trainers like like you know why did Mike correct that right now and so it's I thought it was a good thing okay. to see that so I mean like our first trial it's actually kind of funny so it was like the it was like a Wednesday we came here before like a week a week before our trial to like get a game plan together whatever yeah. that means and we come in we're like all right we're here to like get a game plan together <laughs> yeah. what do we do and so we had the trial and we're over there like all right like on the spot like you do this one I'll do this one we'll do this one. And I think it was, um, I forget who the trainer was, but we're like, all right, we're going to, like, practice our trial. And then, like, Bill was like, you're going to do what? <laughs> that's that's so, like, so Bill. Like, sorry, I, I don't know. I thought we're getting the game plan together. Right. The like, whole no, time, I'm like, all right, we're, we're really, like, we're not a threat to you. Like, yeah, we'll do our right. I don't know. We're that's threat. funny. He wasn't even going. So, um, you know. that's so then we got, like, we got, like, 640 or six, yeah. something. Some, some average, and then I think it was you saying, like, all right, like, if you get this, this is what you got. Yeah. You want to shoot for 750. And then we did like our homework. That was our game plan. Like, all right, what tasks do we have to do to get 750? And then we actually beat 750. So like, mm -hmm. everything was in our favor. And yeah. Then, you know, the other team just yeah fell short by task. Yeah. It's, so. it's 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 cool to see people who are newer, you know, go far or do do well. Yeah. Because. I mean, they don't really know what they're up against. Like, you, you, we can study and we know exactly yeah. kind of like. And you know, we, we talked after we talked after your your trial, and yeah. then we talked after the first round too. Like, and, and I I showed you because we can watching we can see where you guys are going to struggle and where you needed to do something or whatever. And we talked about that after. And the the main thing was there was a couple of things you did you didn't know what to do. Right. And that's just yeah, that right. just slowed yeah. you down. Right. And then there was yeah. there was that one there was that one area I can't I don't remember the task, but there was a one area where it, you guys definitely should have swapped like yeah. fast. You know, like and, I, and that's yeah. just we mixed knowing, up the speed of the yeah. exercises. Some of the fast ones. Yeah. Right and it, that's just from yeah. um, experience. Like the more you do it you'll recognize that one person shouldn't have done, you know, those two tasks you know, for four back to back. It's their phone on a loser. And it's like, well, it's um, part of that thing where, like, 
we don't know each other that well. So right. we're like, yes. That's, that's, what, that's what you're saying, like, too. Like, it's, we're, we're, it's awkward we're, to say, yeah, like, yeah, like, to like, call I'll it midstream, like, like hey, take this you know, one next. Yeah. 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 The so, better you know someone or better you know your partner and their capabilities and, like, what, like how you jive together, yeah. it's huge. Like, yeah. you and Anna. It, me and Anna yeah. work out, I mean, four times a week, maybe. Mm-hmm. So, oh, she is an animal. Yeah. Oh, so we know exactly what our strengths and weaknesses are. So their time, like, we'd write a workout the count the we just do the whole column we wouldn't have to switch one thing mm-hmm. we, we're just we're just you right now yeah yeah i gotta interrupt real quick he says she's an animal she went twice she did friday's workout it was friday or saturday yeah, friday friday which was a tough workout very hard humid yeah humid, and she did it twice in the same day and then she comes and shows up at 10 30 on saturday that's awesome that's three <laughs> three times 24 that's hours awesome. it's that's awesome. awesome yeah friday morning was 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 really tough um the workout was tough, and it was just tough in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then they come back in the afternoon and do that. It just, it's, and yeah. she like, scored the exact same, too. There's times I'm driving around. like I'll do a morning workout, and like three hours go by. I'm like, man, I wish there was a Cyphers class right yeah, now. I'd like, yeah. go again right now. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, yeah. Find some time. Some days. Um, this whole week, uh, this whole week, it was humid. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I, I, like, God. I don't know how many times you guys came. I know you were here. But do you, Wednesday I came. Every Wednesday, like every, I don't know which day was the hardest, but I think the hardest I witnessed was Saturday morning. Uh, like that seven thirty class, I, I was telling uh, Meredith, I was like, I kind of felt bad for the, the seven, like just the, it wasn't even like normal Cyphers because he was doing what was it, Anaconda. Yeah, yeah. So I was I started telling the classes after I was like, guys, just do interim. Yeah. yeah. Until like the last Basically class, what it is. it's just sticking because the plate was not going yeah. anywhere. Joe and Joe's like he well you but you just like flung it a couple of inches and then you would just like bear car it into yeah, it. Yeah, it's not worth standing up. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's pointless to stand up at that. I think on Wednesday, that's the mm-hmm. last time I came and it was like, it was the one where it's like one, I don't know which one it was, but it was like you did Meals Wheels a yes, ton. Yes, like, that's, yeah, you had to get like a sticky. running start yeah. to get Meals Wheels. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, I did that one later, I think. It did. Yeah, yeah, and that, that was harder. No, um, we did that, we were working on the same time. Yeah, 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 you did it right after. Yeah, 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 it was a full class too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a good class. Right. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of bunch, way down trying to whole bunch of guys. Yeah, 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 you have to. Yeah. Uh, and then awesome. there was like and there was a puddle over there. Yeah, yeah, that helps. Yeah. That should be done though. So that's yeah, that's rough. Yeah. Um, there was also single leg bucks in that if you got far. Enough, yeah, that's that what I ended on. That was like, yeah, that, yeah. energy was like mm-hmm. the dude. Yeah. So that's what can't get it going. That's what we call Harrison Township the swamp because at least their their you know original location thirty foot ceilings. The, the air conditioning units on top of the, the building, the, the AC never got gets down to the bottom right. in the summer. So it's like it's li- like literally eighty five degrees. But I just got its own climate. I love, there. I, love you, you I love sweating though. I like sweating. I, like I don't sweating. like, like sticky like sweating, but the, the I mean I do. Move, but well, yeah, certainly. but you know, hotter it is, more sweats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it got to the uh, point yeah, Saturday where Scallywag was was a rest more so than than doing plate pushes. Well, you got yeah, you know, yeah, it was it was ridiculous. That's true. And then you got. You had three months. Three, three, three you got months. there. Yeah. Was, was and then Bill, I, well, but yeah, it, it wasn't sticky then when he was gone because he got to reverse plate push and stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. I, there was no chance. So. It's and so and so like when Harrison Township they, they go against that those that environment you know for yeah. all summer and then we go into turf wars and it's nice and slick for them so that, that they're well, going they through, through yeah so I mean it's it's a good thing and a bad thing it's like they're. Training through the, the toughest environment, and they were peaking it all together yeah, at, right. the same, at the right time. Right. You know, so it's a good game plan. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so we, we, I mean, we could do that. I could just not run the AC. But it could, if we want to win, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Well, we got everyone's got to knock off Shelby this year because that's they're, they're the ones that hold the title. Okay. So, um, speaking of like kind of like peaking at the right time and stuff. You're you're training for a triathlon or marathon. 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 You're doing yep. Detroit. Doing Detroit in October. Okay. Yep. First first marathon. No? First marathon. Yeah. I had never. I hadn't done a half either until. Oh, that's my, right. My original yes. plan was yeah, I was going to do half. This. Yeah. And I went out. I was talking to my buddy Mike, mm-hmm. uh, Mike Cornis, who also does Cyphers, because um, he's run marathons in the past, and said, "Hey, you know, how much should I be running leading into a half? Right? How long should I condition my body?" He's like, "You know." If you do 90 minute run, two hour run, like once a month, you should be fine, right? Mm-hmm. If you're doing, mixing other things in there. So I said, okay. Um, it was last Sunday. I just went out, it was a nice cool morning. Got to 10 miles, I'm like, 
yeah, I'll just keep going. Yeah. So I ended up running a half Before marathon. <laughs> yeah, I ended up running a half marathon, and it was faster than my goal pace that I wanted to run in October for a half. And I'm like, okay, well, unless I want to qualify for Boston, I, like, or run a Boston pace for a half marathon, I'm not really going to get anything out of this if I'm running you know, my goal distance six months in advance, yeah. so I might as well run the full, right? So I just totally nice. changed my goal. <laughs> so, so, well, like, did you set your goal before you did Cyphers, or did you set this after, like you had already signed up? I, I started doing Cyphers, <laughs> and I, I've always wanted to run a half marathon, because mm -hmm. I've done 10Ks and stuff in the past, and yeah. I, I like running. Um, but it's a goal that came up, like, in the midst of doing Cyphers. Okay. Yeah. Because it would be interesting to me if you were, like, if, if you had a goal, like, okay, I want to, let's say two hours. I want to break two hours in yeah. a half marathon before you did Cyphus. And then you start, you got, you saw good results. You're like, oh, geez, well, you know, I totally got to recalibrate this. Yeah. But. Well, now I, I guess I've noticed, um, so I could never, I shouldn't say I could never, the longest I had to run before that weekend was maybe eight miles. Okay. At like a nine minute pace. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was at an 820 pace on a half marathon. Wow. Like. I don't know where I pulled that from. I know where you pulled it from. Well, it exactly. Right. That's what I mean. That's where, that's where I'm going, right? Yeah, like, yeah. at some point when you're running that distance, you're just stressing your hip flexors, right? You're, you're just throwing your legs out there. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I noticed that was extremely strong for my hip flexors towards yeah. once I get past 10 miles. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that I attribute to Cyphus because mm -hmm. you're doing so much squatted, you know, squatted movement, picking up weight, putting it down, and then constantly, like, raising and lowering your body. And yeah. that's just strengthening that part of your body right so well, there's there's a ton that does that like inchworm is right anything like that arachnid ball and chain but then your ram your rambos your ramp ups like all that stuff yep. it's i mean you're hitting it over and over and over again yep. and tons of reps in one workout so right. yeah mm -hmm. yeah and then you're just your aerobic capacity that you're improving right people don't i mean not i think a lot of people realize how cardi cardio taxing it is but they don't realize like how much it helps in an endurance right. thing like, like yeah and then when you start when you do run and you're at 10 and 15 and you've done stuff harder here right than you will right. when you're there right and you can exactly. just use that mentally it's all yeah it's a mental game at a certain yeah. point right um and there, there's so many times you get to you know there's 40 seconds out there right and you might have two two exercises to get to a certain point you're like all right, I can throw it in now, or I can bust it, get through these two, yeah. and get to where I want to end up, right? Mm -hmm. That's like so you, eternal struggle. You, yeah, you do build some like mental fortitude Yeah, by doing Cyphus. I, I was laughing because you, you're like, yeah, you, you, you do s stuff that's tougher here, you know, than, than in a run, but you could never tell that say that to a, a, a diehard runner like my wife i mean I, I mean i'm just talking about my body no i yeah, i know that i know that but like if you ever try to say like to a, a, a purest marathon runner that oh they're like there's times in cyprus that are way harder than in a marathon you would get yeah, I, I'm in no <laughs> way saying it's easy no, at I'm, all oh i know you that know. i know you're not i'm just, I'm just saying, saying that's what i use <laughs> when I start feeling mm -hmm. pain or this is getting yes. tough, just go to it's the when, mental it's, hurdle, when it's right? tough here, mm -hmm. yeah. you don't just stop, mm -hmm. right. you know, it's, it's the same thing. It's, yeah. And I think Whatever that's true. Mentally, I mean, yes. yeah. I'm and sure I, Meredith uses something when she's, when she's, well, she, I don't think she ever gets tired, but if she, if she did, yeah. I'm sure she goes somewhere where She's like, well, this is harder than what I'm doing now, so I'm gonna. It's funny because I, I asked her that, and she's like, yeah, like like some people are just like that. Yeah. I don't think I don't know if anybody here is, you know what I mean? It's it seems like everybody here has kind of got that like the extra thing that makes them yeah. think about it. Uh, at least the people we've talked, I've talked to, but no, it, it's just it's it's interesting that um, I've never run a full marathon, so I can't be like, yeah, it's it's there's Cyprus is harder. And, you know, it's not what I, I said. No, I, I, I can't. I couldn't say that to Meredith, but she couldn't also come back to me and be like, "No, it's, it's, you know, running a marathon is harder than than doing Cyprus because she doesn't do it enough to to know that." But it's, I mean, you do. Have you have you done a full? Yeah, you've done full. How many? One. One. That wasn't recently, right? That was you just did a half, right? Two thousand fifteen in Detroit. Okay. Yeah. 
he's done tries. And I think what Joe's trying to say is that marathons are super easy. That's <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, so <laughs> easy. I don't even do them yeah. anymore. You know. I it, I just immediately like, put myself in your position. Like I was like, oh my gosh, if that ever came out of my mouth, <laughs> like I would never hear the end of it. I, but, but, but it's not what I said. That isn't what you said. But I just I I gotta censor what I say sometimes. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So speaking of getting myself in the doghouse with my wife already, <laughs> you guys you guys both work out with your significant yeah. others, or yeah. they both do segments. Yep. Yeah. Don't want to get you guys in trouble or anything, but. Do, so, what is that like to like work out with them? Do you do you do you feed off that? Do you like that, or does that is that like a bad thing? I don't. I don't want to say bad thing. That was that was a bad way to pitch it. But like, is it? Do you feel like you guys are like, you know, working well together, or is it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think for Ainsley and I, we go at different paces. Mm-hmm. Um, but I see it as an opportunity to encourage, mm-hmm. right and. I know, she, like, I've seen her benefit from, like, a little high five, right? Yeah, we, we're yeah. past each other, right? Yeah. And for me, that's really cool. And she said, like, she, there's been times going home and I, whenever she's like, you know, hey, I, you know, I appreciated that, mm-hmm. right? And although, like, we may be at a very different place in the workout, um, it makes both of us feel good yeah. to, to, to have that um, exchange, right? It's cool. I mean, it's, it's cool. really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, we, Mad- Madeline and I definitely, like, do some high fives sometimes, but it's <laughs> like, it's either, you know, we'll come work out together, but sometimes we'll just, like, she likes yeah. that side. I, like I, that I was side. just going to yeah. say, I noticed yeah. you guys are always yeah. not yeah. by each other. Because <laughs> that's, I mean, because we're both in here to do one thing is mm-hmm. to get a sweat on, sure. roll on the turf, and, like, yeah. get our scores. Yeah. And so, like, mm-hmm. it's kind of cool. We're like, all right, I love you, babe. Like, I'll see you yeah, in an hour. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll catch you in a little bit. So we'll, we'll talk about it. And then afterwards, we'll talk about the workout and yeah. stuff. But mm-hmm. there's a lot of times where we're both going to go to the same class because that's right. like the motivation we want right. to go together. Mm-hmm. But other times, like, I'm going to do a 10.30 class on Saturday. She's like, well, I'm going to 7.30, so yeah, I'll man. see you around. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what you do? So. And it's interesting to see for, like, people that, you know, older, not older, but they have kids. Then they got to kind of do the trade-off. Like, let's say Ellery yeah. and Katrina. Yeah. They, yeah. I mean, they've been doing it for a while before they're before their young one was here, yeah. I think. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they got, like, a little Sipe's onesie and stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but, like, I mean, they would come work out together, I, I think. But now they do, like, the trade-off. Okay, you go with Sipe his, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll, I'll watch them. Like, three mm-hmm. weeks ago, I don't know their names because I'm terrible at names, but um, the gentleman was doing work in <laughs> class, and she came, like, and the next hour later yeah. brought, brought their child mm-hmm. and, like, hung around for a second and then swapped, and, like, you know, they, yeah. they left. And I'm, Maddie's like, that's going to be us. I'm like, that totally. yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's, for it's sure. pretty cool. Yeah, because we're not getting daycare. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until once they're once they're five, six years old, kids site, we'll do that. All right. But um, yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys because you know certain personalities. I don't know. Yeah. If I mean, maybe some, some days some days we show up. It's like we're gonna. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go here. You're gonna go there. Like enjoy the short corner. I'm gonna head over here. But the I, I think we probably. Um, well, we definitely yeah. deal with this more than you guys do. But if if they didn't work out, and then like you were in a group setting with someone else that did, like if you two, if you guys all four hung out, mm-hmm. and and your girls did it, and you guys started talking, they wouldn't want to be. They would want to be anywhere else than with you guys at that point. It, it right. has to be the most annoying yeah. thing ever. And yeah. I know yeah. our wives deal with that when if we start talking about this nonsense and they just. Right. No clue. Don't yeah. care what's right. going on. So that's kind of cool that you guys w- can talk about that and not yeah. bore the yeah. shit out of them. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's like it's like like sitting in a group of people that are talking about Games of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah. And I have no clue what what y'all are talking about. Or like my son plays Minecraft. Just telling me about like everything oh, he's man. doing. I, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. about Minecraft. You know, I don't care. <laughs> I don't, just don't. That's exactly what it's like. Yeah. So it gives me a little insight like into like other conversations yeah. with friends and stuff. Yeah. And like, yeah, I keep trying to get my friends to come, and some of them like are think it's a it. cult or, or like, they glazed yeah. over. Yeah. They're, like, they're like, they're like, you're gonna push you do what <laughs> down what? I'm like, it's, I don't know. It's awesome. Like, I can't explain yeah. it. You just gotta come check yeah. it out. But it's cool that Mandy does it too because, like I said, like we motivate each other. Yeah. So yeah. she's like, hey, how many times are you working on Cypher this week? And I'm like, I don't know. I should probably check and like get it scheduled right. or something like right. that. But it's it's just awesome how. We're just, you know, both going and pushing each other. Yeah, so. that is cool. So, you you were saying that 
earlier you said that you worked out a certain way because you were working out football. Yeah. So you played you played football at De La Salle, yep. right? Yep. Um, did either of you guys do anything else like a, athletics or organized athletics or anything growing up or high school? Yeah, or? I mean, I played a bunch of things growing up. I mean, yeah. high school was mostly football, basketball, track, a little rugby, right? But senior senior year, I was like, yeah. uh, I don't really want to do track athlete, anymore. You know? I'm gonna try mm-hmm. rugby, and that's huh. why I messed up my shoulder. But oh really? Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I just I I love the different. Um, just different challenges, different sports, and yeah. seeing if I could do it and seeing how good I could be at different things. So you, uh, like football was your main football sport, you main. think? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What position? Uh, safety told receiver. All right. And then Mike was QB Mike, or? Mike was an uh, uh, offensive tackle. Okay. Offensive tackle. It's, it, uh, it's interesting to think of like guys, like their builds. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, really? I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He seems like no, he- Mike's a, Mike, Mike's a tall, broad guy. He, then he, he got in marathons. And okay. He, he okay. um, changes uh, his uh, composition quite well, a bit. Well, marathons aren't that hard, so. Well, <laughs> well yeah, I shouldn't say that. He, right. he looks like it. For me, he, I, he looks like he'd be somebody like a QB or something like that. More pitcher. Yeah. Pitcher. A I pitcher. thought for he's, sure he You know, he pitcher. does have a pitcher build. He yeah. does, yeah. I thought for yeah. sure he was a pitcher. Yeah. He's, yeah, yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. We, we, yeah, well, I was, so we got a pitcher. Was a guy that works out here that's a former I, yeah, I, sure can't, can't. I could see Sykes being really good for pitchers, to be honest. I mean, the amount of core strength you build up. I don't know. I don't know much that Sykes isn't good well, for. Well, sure. <laughs> right. But, yeah, no, it, it, it is good. Um, it's really funny that we're bringing this up because I was helping this individual out who used to be a professional pitcher, and I was trying to explain to him what a warrior lunge was. I was like, all right, come to the set position. Essentially, do your delivery motion. Open yeah. up your toe. Don't. Don't like follow through because you're gonna hurt your knee. But right. Just bend the back knee down, then reverse it, come back to the set position. He's like, that makes exact sense to me. But um, hmm. it's a natural move. Yeah. What about you? Did you? I played soccer growing soccer. up, soccer and baseball. Um, so just kind of that tendency to always be physically active mm-hmm. and want to just keep burning energy and like yeah. just getting the workout in. So. So you, you were somebody who enjoyed like that, not the competition, but like. Is it burning energy? Burning energy, yeah. Just, yeah, just really? going, going in, because I hated running. Like, I never running. thought about that when so I was in high My predictions was were completely off. Because I thought for sure you played hockey, and for sure Mike was a pitcher, and I was not. Even <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but, like, I would just go, I would go to a field and just, like, by myself and, like, play soccer and, like, just do sprints, mm-hmm. just to be active. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like, three, actually, probably four years ago, I, you know, after college, you know, you got the college, uh, 15 and you know after yeah. you know have some brews with the boys and everything like that and uh i was like you know I'm, I'm gonna hit the gym and started kind of what you were saying like cardio gym lifting and then mm-hmm. like three years go by and then i signed up for a tough mutter last year did mm-hmm. the tough mutter which was awesome and then got to like you know my physical fitness that i wanted i was but i wanted to like find something that would take to the next level right, right. and then maddie was like you know i heard cyphers it's like this is what you do on this turf and back and forth and we mm-hmm. tried it out and then immediately I was like this is like the missing link mm-hmm. that like I wanted to get I like just that. like because yeah. I it was that, that that high energy that I wanted yeah you know yeah. yeah and and I can usually not all the time but I can usually tell as soon as someone's done with initiation or while they're going through it I'm like I could tell these guys like it like you, yeah. know, you know what I mean yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see them again and again and yeah, again. yeah. Uh, so that like, brings me up to one of my questions like what was I mean you kind of just said yours but like what was like your like initial thought like when you were done with initiation like did you have like something that like stuck out to you so even before that i remember mike and i would mike and i would talk a lot about like was i here for that i think you were here for yeah, the okay. initiation yeah we would talk a lot about like hey how we're working out different things we're mm-hmm. doing everything and he would always say he's like you know this place right on the corner by my house if, oh, you, yeah. want, if you want some like real pain like if you really <laughs> if you want to walk out of there like in in you know a different kind of pain and just wake up hating yourself like go to sight this and i'm like okay okay fine whatever mm-hmm. um and then december came around I'm like all right you know what let, let's try this i, I yeah. feel like subjecting myself How, to when pain. did he start I thought it was like around the same time, wasn't it? He started more frequently around the same time. I know he, he mm-hmm. might have done like a few introductory classes. Okay. You know, months prior, but mm-hmm. I don't know that he actually had started coming uh, consistently, uh, consistently yeah. until December, January or so. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but yeah, I just I just remember him telling me like, dude, if you if you want some pain, like go there. <laughs> if you I was like, I'm like, what yeah, you we doing, were wrong. Right? We need we don't have enough pain in our lives. We need, we need, we need more. <laughs> but <laughs> it's all, but it's physical. Though. Just yeah. yes. I mean, oh, yeah. Sort of what you're talking about, like burning energy, though, right? Like I. I've got this like weird drive and I'm sure you guys share the same thing of like, all right, what's the next challenge, right? Because you can yeah. plateau in different things mm -hmm. in, in yeah. benching or even running, you plateau to a certain point and you've got to find a way to push yourself further. Mm -hmm. Like you're always pushing yourself at work or there's different challenges to come up at home. But when it comes to physical fitness, like you have to constantly seek out the next thing yeah. that's going to push you to, to a certain limit. And it's hard to put a, a finger on like why exactly you have that drive. But coming here and going through initiation yeah. and then seeing, okay, well, tomorrow's workout is X, Y, or Z, yeah. right? And it's always constantly changing. There's a different way to remeasure yourself mm -hmm. and inject yourself to pain and, and find a new find a new limit, yeah. right? And you, and, and you have, you know, a, a group of people here that all have that same mentality. Exactly. Right. Like, mm -hmm. One way or another, right. that concept is in every single person that comes here every day yeah. i mean they're all we're all wired the same way the, that the, way the, yeah it's either we got something missing or we got something extra i yeah. don't know what it yeah. is but yeah. it's, it's hard to put yeah. it words. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's it's everyone's kind of got that same thing that just makes them either not quirky or insane yeah. or whatever it is they, they've got a, like a, a crazy drive and, yeah. they, and they're consistent what it does, what Sightness does, is it weeds out anybody who's not really serious about exercise. Right. So you got everyone here that's serious about it, you know? Right. So it's kind of like if you're, you know, teaching in, in college versus maybe like a public high school where the kids don't, maybe someone doesn't want to be in, in class. Right. You got, I mean, that's probably a bad analogy because yeah. I, I, I don't know that I was always wanting to be in class either in college. But, um, but it's, people are coming here willing, paying customers that mm -hmm. want the hardest thing that's going to get right. them into shape. Yeah, right. Or maybe it's not even just getting the shape. Like you said, it's just the challenge. Right. You just want to yeah. like, I don't know, you want to do it. You want, I, like, yeah. you, there's some cool stuff. I remember when I was doing uh, like all this stuff, I'm like, okay, I can do a run, I can do a mogul. Like, what are they, I'm seeing them yeah. doing that stuff. <laughs> yeah. When am I like shot yeah. putting and yeah. like that's doing that stuff? That's funny you say that. Like yeah. the first, like the third one was hikes. As soon as I got the hikes, I'm like, I'm like, this is awesome. Like, what are we doing here? And then like, inch, cool. the inchworm, I'm like, all right, this is awful, but like, mm -hmm. I'm doing like yeah, unique right. stuff. Like I can do run a suicide mountain yeah. climber all day, but yeah. like mm -hmm. I couldn't wait to like get past the initiation and then right. like the second one to get the third class yeah. to like doing toros and yeah. rambos and just all kinds that's of stuff cool. like throwing plates around. Mm -hmm. like, that's well, I mean, that's been years and years in the making. For the most part, it's it's kind of stayed the same. We changed it up a year. I'm not trying to ago. disrespect yeah. you. No, yourself. it's <laughs> no. What I'm saying is it's very very deliberate and intentional because just by watching someone go through initiation. Yeah. I can tell you how quickly you're gonna pick things up, what like, like how you know your progression is gonna be, what your range of motion is, how you're. Sure. Do you understand what a push up is without me really having to explain it or a lunge, and then just there's just so much. Oh, I mean, you know. it's the basics. I mean, it's everything. I mean, from what I've like hikes, you have four exercises after that you do, and like bear, it's the basic crawl, and you just right. you everything mm -hmm. builds from that. Yeah, well, so well, it's mobile. Uh, mobile is the huge, is the huge one in, the, in yeah. that progression. Yeah. It is. Because you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're hitting it, I think, four different times. Mm -hmm. And and, and that know, wasn't in there originally yeah, for the yeah. original initiation. And the point of it, oh, too, yeah, it, it, I guess it I helps, didn't realize that. It, yeah. it, it, it's, you know, it helps you start putting together the the language, too, kind of yeah. over here. Mogul feet, bare hands. Right. That's, this is where it came from. Yeah. And then you start putting that into other yeah. things. And that goes back to, you know, uh, focusing on form, too. You know, focus on, on your form, on the task you're doing right then isn't only helping you right then it's helping you and the next new task that you've never even done yet mm -hmm. but it's this is the, the genesis or whatever yeah, of that precursor yeah. like yeah. this yeah, but yeah. This so what you you know right. the way you did it here you'll use that here and just do the different so movement. we'll use Mo mogul as an example like i said like i can tell you how you're going to do on a you know right right off the bat if you're doing your second exercise, mogul, people are doing it too much in a plank. Mm. I'm like, like now I'm like, make sure you're more compact. Yeah. You don't want to be that tight because when you do a crawl later today, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to do it because right. you're too rigid and you're, you mm -hmm. know. So it's it's something like that that's like, all right, you know, it's really not that big of a deal if you if you don't do. Uh, I don't know what would be a good good one. It, 
like a if you don't do rivets correctly, if you don't do rivets, they're like oh, you know, they should probably get lower or something like that. But you know, if you don't do rivets, you're not going to really, you're not really going to be able to do croak in the right way. You know, so, right. something like that. Right. Or rampant. All the ramps are really, really important mm -hmm. um, for like range of motion and uh, just know, like, if, if you're not trying to improve your range of motion at all or land flat footed or at least get up, like, you're really kind of stalling your progress on so many things. Yeah. On that. Right, like the, the range of motion that you would get on Rampage is directly going to correlate to boulder and, and tasks like that. Right. And you probably don't realize it at the time, but right. when you start really focusing on that, the, the, the stretch and the difference is huge on, on those, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you're saying it right now, I'm kind of having the realization, like, you need to yeah. the points. Yeah. yeah. So, f yeah. like, every, like, r ramp, anything is, like, probably, the like, the most important. Bulldogs, bullfrog, bullshit, like, like, all that stuff. Jackbox, bulldozer, I mean, you could just go on and on, mm -hmm. and, like, how hip flexor, it's yeah, really about it. Yeah, that man. it's like, oh, it is. I mean, I, I, think, I think back to, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it, it was that early, but the first couple times doing it right and doing a, a, a rampant and only getting my feet up mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i don't know oh yeah, yeah. six yeah. inches yeah. below my yeah. hands and now you're doing it and it's like holy crap like i might be able to get my foot past right. that yeah. right it, it's an incredible mm -hmm. growth pattern in yeah. five months yeah you can you can you can track the growth by how how far up your feet can get yeah. on a boulder mm -hmm. yep. you know like, like you were just saying you, you could have the plate here and your feet would be here mm -hmm. Next thing you know, your, your feet are going to be inches right, yes. above the plate, right? Mm -hmm. Taking a step, it, it, and that's hmm. all from yes. the stationary tasks, right? Mm -hmm. get, getting better and familiar with them. So and it's kind of cool, like when you make that realization, right? You're like, oh, oh well, like sure. this is like, reason. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like doesn't yeah. hurt that yeah. much, and yeah. like yeah. I'm going further, and then it just and then it, and yeah. then that just it's just like a mountain, and that, then other things start happening like that, yeah. And then other things start happening like that, and then you know, well, I mean, that's kind of what I was getting at when we were talking about form to kick this off, right? Exactly. Is like, yeah. if you do those little things mm -hmm. right over time, you're, you might be slow and scoring, I don't know, 500, 600 yeah. for the first couple of months, but over time, if you keep doing that right, right, you know, I mean, I know my score will go up eventually. Well, right? this is kind of obvious, but I mean, the, the opposite is just as true. If you don't get that, you could be doing this for six years and you never see improvement right. on your range of motion. Which, which is unfortunate, but if you're still sticking with this six years later, I mean, great. You know, right, I mean, you're right. still exercising, you're still getting all the, you know, the other health benefits as long as you're not going to, you know, hurt yourself. But it's, it would, sometimes it would just be nice to be like, hey, you know, you could really see even more improvement. Right. But you, not everyone's going to, like, get that. Right. I, you can sense who, okay, I really want to learn the form. I want to yeah. do this shit right. Mm -hmm. But you, know, you don't so, want them, like, saying, like, what the fuck? Yeah. hasn't said anything or what, what the fuck is this person yeah. doing yeah, like yeah. Th there is yeah, and then, we're yeah, not at this, point, at this point I'm just like I mean whatever they're yeah, doing their yeah. own thing I'm worried about yeah, myself exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly that's why you say do your own work at the, you know, you say right. I mean I've been on both sides of that where it's right. like you like how do you beat me damn like I want to be the, being a man you want to be like the winner you want to be the kind right. like, no, the that's, that's not just a man thing I think that's a human thing okay <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm, yeah. super, I'm super from the man's perspective yeah. like the man masculinity you want you want to be like the better one and like if someone passes you you're like out of sight, side of your eye, you're like, man, like, what the hell are you doing different than yeah. me? Like, what the hell's going on? But also, you gotta be like, ah, I don't really care, honestly. Just, it, yeah, it's, it's like a struggle. <laughs> it's so easy to say and so oh, it's not yeah. easy to yeah, apply. In the moment, it's yeah. God damn it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stupid. It's and then the next time it happens, it's gonna it, piss you it, off again. In a way, though, it, like, if you're doing it right, it helps you get back up on the horse, though. If yeah. you're taking an yeah. extra breather, right? It's like, all right, well, he's already halfway down there, so I better get going. That's again. been the name of my game the last two and a half years. Really, it's just. Like, for me, like you were saying, it's so hard to apply that. It is, but that's where I feel like it's – that is my biggest thing where I'm able to grow. So I feel that, that that's where it's brought everything together for me with Saif. It's not just physical. It's, it's like, almost spiritual for me to where I'm, like, I'm not going to let somebody else's actions affect the way that I'm going to act or react. And that has more application outside of the gym mm -hmm. than it does inside. So much so that it's just, like – I say form first to myself all the time outside of here where I'm like, man, I'm feeling lazy. I don't feel like doing the lawn today. I had to, I had to cut the lawn with a weed whacker because my lawn mower didn't so did, did you really? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. I'm like, I stopped like three or four times. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't want to do it like really in the first place. But it's just something, something yeah. small like that. Yeah. Uh, let's just do this right, yeah. you know. Um, but if 
somebody else's actions too. That's a completely different ballgame. You're in an argument and someone else is taking, you know, cheap shots or something, yeah. saying something. You know what? That's you. See, I, went, yeah. I, 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 I applied that, but I would do the opposite way. Everyone on my street cut their grass. And I'm like, well, I'm not, I, I don't have to do it. I'm not going to do what everyone else is I'm not keeping up with I'm going to do what I feel is right, and I didn't cut my grass. That's funny. I'm going to yeah. do my own. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. You know what you're saying about like form first, how it like, applies like, outside the gym? Yeah. It's like. I'm looking so far backwards. I don't know. It's like uh, if you do cyphers a couple times a week, four times a week, and like. You're going there, back, there, back, whatever task you got to do. If you start cutting corners on, like, just doing a, a checklist of tasks, this is, like, where it starts. Like, if you start cutting corners here, it seeps in. It seeps in. Like, okay, maybe I will cut corners, cut my lawn, or I'll cut corners, wash my car, put the dishes away. It's, like... It's accountability, right? It's accountability, yeah. It's like, so, I, I, I think of Cyphus form first, so it's, like, I can't cut corners here, and that's going to, like, kind of reciprocate and ripple to the rest of my life. And, and he'll... Joe will attest to this. It's, like... I, I definitely know all this stuff. Like, I mean, I've known it pretty much as I was coming up with it. I was like, oh my gosh, there's, like, you can essentially tell somebody's personality and their, you know, their mm -hmm. their ethical, moral, like, basis just on, like, how they're, not everyone, but, like, if the, if the plate's, you know, that's, like, the line's right here and the plate's here and you take it over the line, well, what, what are you doing, you know, right. behind the scenes? When, yeah. You know, so... It's, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't want to be like, initiation, all right, make sure, I don't know, you don't want to be too judgmental, you don't right. want to, you don't want to be like, I could tell you, I could tell you your life story if you don't go to the line, I mean, that's going to freak people out. Yeah, I bet but, you don't floss tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you, the thing is, is that, oops, I'm just spit all over you, um, you, you, you guys pick up on that, and there, there is a really big, spiritual is the wrong word, but like a, a big mental aspect to this that not everyone sees and I think you only see it if you're, you're if you're paying attention to it you know yeah I, I think it's just a you got to be willing to do things the right way from the get-go mm -hmm. right you have to you got to know yourself when you walk into it right if you're somebody that's going to cut corners here and there it's just gonna this is a way to prolong it, it can prolong that behavior right if yeah. you're willing to to cave it's like 42 workouts in, 96 yeah. workouts in. It's like you've come this far, like doing what you need to do integrity wise. Like, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, why stop? I mean, you're already this far. Yeah. Like, yeah. you can start over and you already know the results. You already know what you can do. So, why would you not do it any other way? You know? How many workouts do you know that you have? Mm, it, I did 800 a couple of weeks ago. So, okay. over 800. Okay. And this, 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 is that all together? You think? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, when you get to like that level, <laughs> um, you, you'll see it a completely different way too. I mean, I think that's just like life. It's like you look back with a certain experience, like I've been through that, made that mistake, mm -hmm. did this. I thought I was doing this right, but I wasn't doing right. It's, it, it, it's a really interesting like like viewpoint to like look back and be like, you, I mean, you're saying like, yeah, you know, we're, you're 100 workouts in, which is it's. I mean, that's good, especially the first year. I but I also think that it's like. You'll even make exponential strides when when you get to you know. Well, I think I think it's not the number of workouts isn't what I'm saying. It's no, like, it, no, yeah, yeah. no. It's yeah. like it's like you, the fact that like like you're saying that we're kind of already in the mentality mm -hmm. to like have that integrity and have yeah. first like the things we're learning mm -hmm. more and more. It's like well, obviously that's what we got to keep doing because that's the way yeah. we got to do it. You yeah. know, I'm not gonna not do that mm -hmm. because. That's just what we gotta do. Yeah, you know? I, th I th what I'm saying is, I think that'll be a snowball. Oh, effect. yeah, right. that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah, there's more, keep, there's more light bulbs. Yeah, yeah. that are coming. Yeah. That's just mm -hmm. gonna just change the experience. You know, in a good way, uh, coming up. You know, yeah. keep keep it going for turf wars because, like, when you have more people that are like think like that and mm -hmm. work out like you guys do, it definitely permeates into the, the people around you. So right. if you get if you get that kind of culture where everyone's kind of doing things the right way and everyone's like really focused right laser focused that makes the the, the class go yeah lot, you, know? you, you were you were here last october than last year right did you see yeah. any of that any uh, oh turf turf wars. Wars? Oh, it, was, it was a one week thing oh i don't no, think, no, it, so, I don't it, think so. It, so it's it's a totally different it's a totally different energy and you know how you guys you know when you went during march mayhem out it was like a different feel it was cool mm -hmm. the the when you're working out during that week 
and everyone's you know like on the same page. There's just a different energy. It's a together start working out. In, it's, in it's your super turtle. Cool. It's, it's, okay. So we what, what it is is like we go I against all the other. Yeah, I do. I do recall that. Yeah, it was it was different. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was yeah, a yeah. different. You know, it's it's really not that different. I mean, we're. It isn't. <laughs> but yeah. it just felt. It just everyone turns it up a little bit. It feels like, it's, like tri- just, it's tribal. Yeah, almost. yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's just that extra. Um, go get it sort of thing it's it's cool it, yeah. it is i i would like to do it more not more often because it takes away for like a little bit so it would take but if if we did it twice a year it'd be kind of cool if I could, yeah um but the, the workouts that i create for that or have to create for that you can't cut corners at all because oh, yeah unfortunately i mean like if you got your if, if, if our pros are here you know cheering everybody on and wants everyone to do the best you can you just got to make sure that you're keeping the integrity there right. and just you're not cutting corners or allow the ability to cut corners. Right. So I, I try to make it like all their back stuff, mm-hmm. all pushes, because you can't cheat a plate push. Right. One right. way to do it, good, there, do it good. <laughs> yeah. So that's, I mean, that that's that's one of the reasons why I like it, because I'm like, all right, these are the top seven workouts that are very, very tough to, to mm-hmm. cut corners on. And all right, let's, 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 let's see who's got see it. what happens that's why i like the workout you did two three weeks ago it was uh it was a form first workout it was a there's a test chuck it i think it, it might have been chuck it, it. Yeah. yeah and you, you had on facebook all right let's see you know let's see how your scores register and everything oh it was, it was, no. like, it was, like, was the, it a it was like 45 i think like, that was, it was a was plus one it was like oh, the, the I was ones in disney for that yes okay okay yeah, yeah, it's yeah the ones yeah, that like i loved that but okay. top, the top ones that people mess that up was, form or that something was like that. Really interesting. I don't think yeah. there was any yeah. plate. I walked out of there like no. feeling like no. hell. It, it was all. It was the opposite of that. It was all ones that are cheatable. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so, yeah. so it was uh, martyrdom. It was a centaur to martyrdom. You did a whole. He did a whole week before, where uh, <laughs> he was like thirty percent right on it. But he did a whole week where he's like, all right. So on Monday. Like, if you if you have shitty form, you're gonna be in green on this workout. Yeah, I'm like pretty much like try yeah. to predict it. Yeah, and it totally didn't. His point was made, but it didn't um, factor out the way he had thought it did. Mm-hmm. But the point was made. You know, like right. it was you smoke can, week, wasn't yeah, it? you can yeah. see. Um, I mean, you can sort of tell if you look ahead and look into it, but. There are workouts where you you should be in the red. No matter right. what your score, you should be right. in the red. Mm-hmm. Yes. Aside from mm-hmm. super low um, thirty days for whatever reason, and then you know there's avarice well, in there. But yeah. for the most part, if you, if you have good form, there's mm-hmm. days you, you you're not going to get in the green. It's some days impossible. you want to be with the red. Some days you want to be with right. the green. Yeah. that's really what it amounts yeah. to. It was hard. To, I, I had so many hard things in there. Your devastator, the things that just take a long time in the end zone, because it gives me feedback into like, okay, what exercises should I devalue? Should I start taking points away from the ones that are easier to cheat? And yeah, that's what I do. That's a factor. Oh, uh, so going to the devalue thing a little bit. Uh, we did the playbook, me, Roy, and yeah. Katrina, me, Roy, that was and cool, Anna, yeah. two, uh, back-to-back days. And what we did was we made all three essentially mirror every single task. I noticed that. Yeah. They, they were all, not the same task, but, you know, that was a good way to, mm. evaluate, it. to, value, to evaluate those tasks and how they're scored. Because mm. there's definitely, I, I believe, like, fuzzard and buzzard. There's no reason those shouldn't be the same. Exactly. Yeah. But then there's a couple other ones where they're it's like swapped. Where like the harder one is the lower scoring one. Do you have an example? I'll, yeah, I'll you can get explain it. what you're saying. Yeah. Like the yeah. mirror yeah. thing and like. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, you didn't do the playbook. Maddie, no. Maddie did the playbook, yeah. but I, I'm assuming you helped her with it. Yeah. No. No. no? Okay. No, no. Um, I thought I because she she came in you know and had it all written down. I thought you guys had talked about it. I I ended up writing it on a board for her, so she had it. But so it was a mountain, L cycle, and U uh, ticks there. So if Roy had hot coals and ape shoot, I did, um, you know, like I did like two step in potty shatter, like okay. t- tasks that were really similar. Because gotcha. we couldn't repeat the task. Like if I did hot coals, the other two couldn't 
do hot colds. Gotcha. So we did that for every single task. Wow. All, all of our tasks were pretty much lined up right on. If uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good example, like if I was doing rampage, he was doing rampant, and she was doing ramble or something or something like that. You know. Right. So we did that all the way across, and then for 30 minutes, we were exactly we were at the exact same, same pace doing all different tasks. Then there was a there was an area where, you know, someone took somebody got left behind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that was a total testament to just that particular couple tasks. Yeah, um, that are supposed to be right. the same. The same value. Yeah. 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 The thing with that though is there's the the, var- the variable of the difference between you guys. But you but know? that's yeah, but yeah. for us three, there really isn't though. Like that's why it was a good test because we're all very similar. Did you? Did you adjust each exercise to that person's ability? Like, like, like Roy's. Like, you guys are pretty close, though, right? Scoring wise. Yeah, I think that's what he's saying. Like, so all but, four are like pretty same yeah, level, yeah. so like having all the same. Yeah. It was essentially me. It, 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 me and him were that, doing the same exact workout. That that's a good comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I, I was thinking, I was like, you need to have someone that's like the same. Identical. Like, you guys need to be going together. Like your March Mayhem partner, you should be yeah, going. Yeah. How does that affect the other person? But his strengths may not be your strengths, and vice versa. It wasn't. It wasn't okay. even that. It was. Okay. It was definitely just right. the task difference. Um, I'd like to know what those are. I mean, that's. I have them written down. We'll, we'll on the back end of. Uh, it's definitely fuzzard and buzzard were one of them. Okay. For sure. There's a there's a few of them out there that I'm like, yeah, this, this I don't know how this one. Yeah, like, and I'm there's some that aren't even close. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll find it because we we definitely have written down like pl- there's a few plate pushers that are valued as high as like some things that take a long time mm-hmm. and so that that's essentially like on the we have a, a like a private pros page where we just kind of like I'll you know make an announcement hey there's an issue with this day's workout look out for this correction so yeah. it's a easy way to get a hold of people but like yesterday I think it was I posted something I was like I want to find out like who's the most consistent. At your turf, who's the most consistent uh, scoring and form? Like, if they got good form and they they, they usually score seven hundred yep. all the time, who yep. is that? Like, what I want to see is I'm going to look at the profiles for this very reason. Be like, okay, the slope was you know a, a twenty, and uh, all these people scored green, and like, what what is it with that workout? But I can also look, you know, granularly mm-hmm. and be like, okay. Are, the, are there any tasks in this workout where everyone scored red that I'm not giving enough points to or whatever? So that's, that's exactly why I'm doing that. Because what, what I'm able to do is I'm able to change the, the scoring values. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I wanted to, kind of like, I could do it at will. Like, just change one exercise, you guys wouldn't notice a difference. But usually once a year, what I do is I make all the changes at one yep. time. And you'll, you'll, see a, you'll see a difference in the scoring. Okay. Like last year, I didn't make very major changes, so most people yeah, would notice. Seventeen, there was a, bu- a big yeah, change. There was a big change from was sixteen to seventeen. Mm-hmm. It was like a seventy point change. So like wow. everyone was scoring lower by like seventy points, which that get that was it's more accurate to me now. Yeah, it, it like it like reset like the global number for yeah. everyone, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. there were some there were some outrageous yeah scores averages. Um, you know, year sixteen was. Yeah. It was like the was. steroid era. Mm. <laughs> it really was. It was crazy. Like, so a thousand has always been my number. It's like I want like the top person scoring a thousand. Yeah. Because it just it's a, such a round number. It's perfect. Right. You know. Um, and that's why I try to like keep the workouts somewhat around a thousand. Mm-hmm. Um, Eleven hundred is just crazy to me. I know people are able to do it. It's just. To me, it's more like when I say it's crazy to me, it's like, all right, I'm doing something wrong with the math, or I'm like the, 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 I, and that it really, it's, it, it's crazy. I mean, I'll look at the thing, be like, all right, I can see someone like finishing, you know, nine minutes left or whatever, but when, when they're finishing with like 15, 15 minutes well, left, it's yeah. insane. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's insane. You're doing 80 exercises, yes. you're doing two exercises a minute. Yes. Yeah. You're not That's stopping incredible. or breathing ever. Hey, go for them. It's it's incredible. You're, yeah, you're, I'm not you're, I'm not you're, I'm not uh, shit on them at all. It's yeah, yeah. incredible. No, it's, it's, it's yeah. unreal. It's just to run there and back, yeah. right? Eight times in an hour. It's, yeah, it's it's it, it really is incredible. That's I can't fathom it. I, I never was able to do 
like the fastest workout I think I've ever done was like probably 51 minutes. You know what I mean? It's, it's just crazy. Yeah, the thing think about the math after <laughs> too is, um, you know, when you're talking tasks per minute or whatever. Yeah. It's like I today I was, I think I had 16 with 13 minutes left. Yeah, you do that math, like mid-workout. And then it, it, it fucked me up because yeah. like, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish it. Um, but to think, I don't yeah. think about that going in. Oh. But for them, like they're doing four four tasks right. a minute. Yeah. It's fucking right. crazy. Yeah, yeah. that's it's crazy. It takes me like um, like four minutes to do one task. Like I start I started <laughs> mentally going, okay, give me give me a minute a task with like a half hour left, and let me see yeah. if I can yeah. manage yeah. that. You yeah. know, it I can't, I couldn't imagine. I mean, obviously there's areas there where you can. Get a That's bunch true. Done like stampede, quick. yeah. The five, um, yeah. You could yeah, do you can almost five minutes. Well, and then the the centaur three, I did. I did four, uh, six crawls right in a row, which didn't take very long, cause, you know. So that mm-hmm. changed the task per minute mm-hmm. for that area, you know. Right. So the, I don't want to interrupt you too much, but this is a, the Centaur Three I'm looking at behind you too is a good example for uh, what you were just talking about with like the same values. Those are all virtually the same. Look at like takeoff Neapolitan. Those aren't the same. As, no, and, and yeah. there's there's definite no's on that list. If they're all the yeah. same, there yeah, shouldn't right. be definite no's. Well, like BOR, you're not. No one's doing BOR. No, yeah. no one's doing. I, I, you are there was no gimmick. People, a lot of people did no gimmies today, and I mean, after yesterday, there was no yeah. chance I was going to even attempt that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I just did one through ten. I just I, I yeah. noticed that. I did notice that. What's wrong with that? No, nothing was wrong with it. It just there was a couple I wouldn't have done. See that? Oh, see that, that? That's a difference in thinking, which I find interesting. Is that like? Well, you obviously have the experience, and you, and you know that, but I think that you also know better, too, that, like, like I know which ones to choose. Right. So, like... No, but yeah, I, yeah. I, I've, I've been there, too, where I don't... If I don't want to think, I, I'm not... Oh, no, I didn't mean no, that. No, 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 But I do the exact same thing. There's, there's, there's te- um, circuits where it'll be 1 to 15, and you pick your order. Yep. Fuck that. I'm doing one to fifteen. I yeah. am not going right. around. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's, yeah. there's one. There's one that we did like, like a this. month ago where it's like it was a. It might have been a March Mania, but it was like a pick your poison. Yep. For that one, like, I'll pick like the harder task because like. I want to get. I want to. He's get not the talking about picking the hardest task, though, right? Well, what do you mean? Well, look, look, you're talking about. Well, like, I, about I, I understand what you're saying. Like, like, but like, yeah. if I have a choice between yeah. one or two, or where, like, pick those three, I'll pick it like based on how I'm feeling. But like for this. I don't want to do all that in my head. I just yeah. want to, I want to focus on the workout. I don't want to try to find out like if I do bulldozer, then my legs are gonna mm. hurt. So I'll, I'll mm. finish off with the flamingo, and then it's yeah. yeah. See, I had I just three, want to go through. It. I had three hours to watch and you know figure right. out what you yeah. want. Yeah, and, and there's there's tasks I def I just don't like. So yeah. those I, those I take yeah. off e- easily. Those are easy nos for me. And then what I did was I made I built rests in in the tent mm-hmm. for me. So I made sure. I, la- I got to lay down twice when I knew I was going to be tired. Yep. See, and that's awesome. Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I want to get to that point where, like, as I'm running, figuring out, I can, like, I'll know which ones to do and where to take breaks and Huge. things like that. So yeah. it's part of the learning curve. So that's that's kind of what I was saying. Like, you just, if you hear the I'm way. St- I'm you, stupid, too. Right? No, you, no, you hear the way Joe talks, and I mean this nicely. He's, like, neurotic about, like, how to figure out the, mm-hmm. the workout. It's like, it's, it's like you're, like, such a student of, like, just this workout. You figure out, like, the holes or like like the the ways to like beat the, the workout which yeah. I don't even think about that I just I put them together and that's everyone else's job to kind of figure it figure it it's out a but strategy. Like, right. like he's got like the I don't know you're able to look at it and pick it apart and you know your ability and stuff like that it's just it's just really interesting for me to and I, I think you still you knew what exercises you shouldn't do or if you wanted to score higher you you probably knew that and it sounds like that's not what you we're going after like, no yeah, yeah i mean yeah I, I mean i don't know what tasks do what scores honestly i don't know I, I all those were the same today i mean honestly yeah. looking at those like i don't know how many points hot coals are is hot coals that much less than band i have no idea well no so, it, yeah. it's it's it's, yeah. it's not a score thing it's uh it's a time thing so right so when you're looking at the centaur two, you gotta just not do kamikaze because kamikaze is probably the slowest task in there 
Right. So that that's just saving you time. Right. It's not like it's a hard task that you're taking a shortcut with. You're just saving yourself time by not doing it. It's, it uh, sucks doing it mo more than once yeah. back to back too. Yeah, it's you, the almost, one to four yeah, you yeah, forget. It's almost close to two minutes. It's ridiculous. See, looking at that though, like I know Mantis would take longer, mm -hmm. but I might pick that one out because I know it's going to hit a muscle group that we don't always see. Hit. That's not how everyone thinks. Is, yeah. But right. that, that, that's what I think is. But awesome. if I notice it, I feel, okay, I, I know I need to get that. That's and one of my I might favorite tasks too. One. But in that, but see, okay, so then you're good. You know, it's it, you know it's a slower task. But then what you got to do is then you put it. You put it in a place where you're going to need a break. Break from the yep. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I think that's kind of where we fell short on, on March Mayhem, right? It's For sure. Yeah, 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 things, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we kind of said, well, I'm going to stick to the left side and you're going to go to the yeah. right side until we get something we don't know. Right. Then, then we're going to figure it out. And then yeah. what, what I was telling him, too, and I think you guys even brought it up, you guys didn't really know each other either. Right. So right. it's got to be yeah. super uncomfortable to be like, to like say, hey, t take. Take play chick next. I right. gotta do this. Like you don't want to like right. you don't know well, your dude, personalities. We're, 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 and stuff we're two too. athletic dudes like trying to like in a in a competitive atmosphere. That like no guy, I'll I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do the curls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, and that's what was that's what was so great you know? about about um, Anna being my partner is anything with the plate. Yeah. She, yeah. she just does it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't ask questions. She's like, oh, it's fine. I'll do uh, I'll do. Um, uh, um, a death row. It's like a it's a it's a rest task for me. I'm like, she, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like she, she makes it look like a yeah. nickel. Yeah. You know. I mean, she's so strong. Huh. Um. Yeah, man. So it's a, it, it, this has been a good conversation just because it's it's extremely like Sife is nerdy, which is good. Like so, like the people who who watch it and listen that are like really kind of like students of the game will mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. some of the stuff that we're talking about. If you don't, you you have no clue. You probably tuned out by now. But um. So when I, we kind of already went over like cheatability. So like certain exercises, I sometimes detract values from if it's easy to cheat. The other one you mentioned was um, how time. Time is probably the number one factor. How long does it take most people to finish a task? That's how I like initially like was. I would time people. I would right. be like, okay, how long does that one take? Like this is a long, long time ago. Don't do that now. But the other, the other big factor that kind of determines whether or not it goes up or down is um, what I call uh, the residu residual fatigue. So that's the other thing that in this workout today, we're talking about Cinco de Mayo where you get to pick your own like path essentially. Okay, how, man, this is not a good idea. The reason why I think most people wouldn't do BOR other than time is because your arms are gonna be done right. for the rest of the workout after that. So that residual fatigue factor, how much is that, that you know that exercise is really gonna destroy and destroy but hinder your progress throughout the rest of the workout so that is a big factor in whether or not i make a, another task worth more points as is because if it if it just you know wins you for the next like like bullshit or like thrust a frog or something right. like that it's not that hard to do it once or to, like to do it but if you're doing it you're 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 gassed and it what it it's so complicated in what's crazy that those centaur three tasks are all the same going back to this time thing mm -hmm. is you could uh, i'm not saying i'm saying in general in three anteaters could be done in the time one bor gets done yeah but it depends on who you are no i'm that's why i said it yeah. like oh yeah could be mm -hmm. um which is a huge advantage yeah. Like yeah, if you had to choose yeah. those two right. you're obviously mm -hmm. going to take the crawl mm -hmm. pushes that uh, i mean pushes in their time were so much more they were valued so much more because i don't know sometimes i guess i feel like i do have to fit, figure out like factor in new people like if they're newer and pushes can. are kind of hard you know yeah, and pushes yeah. are going to have pushes and throws are going to have uh sure. different variables that factor in too like the five plate pushes i did on yes. Saturday, we're not the same play push as Bill did on Saturday. No, yeah, you know? th th that's it. So it's like you have to kind of accommodate for some give and take, and th that's the reason why we take averages. And yeah. it's not like, yeah, it's so it's, 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 it's really annoying. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> really it, it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny. That's part of the fun of it, though, right? Is you can yeah. get into weeds with it. It's and not that, like building a workout around bench presses. But you have yeah. to talk to people who do it, or else they're like, right. "What the heck are right. you talking about?" Right. You know? Like, yeah. This yeah, is. Yeah. If I send, you know, a thousand texts and 
a thousand Facebook message group chats or whatever a month, seventy percent of them is what we're doing right here. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, it's cool yeah. that like. Yeah. I don't know. I always thought it was like you're making them and then you're like, yeah, have fun, go do it. Right. But like, there's so much more behind your brain like well, to ton, figure all yeah. this out yeah. and how like things factor in and out. That's awesome. That's science. And yeah, yeah. So, so you know, I did, I just did a 10 task layout of, you know, putting in rest, making it, you know, ideal for me. He's doing that for 90 fucking tasks. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not that easy. Well, there's been a couple t recent times I like I've kind of gotten inside your head a little bit to like just pick your brain, and you've talked about more like, and that's where I'm kind of headed. It's like not the score. It's like how can how can I like beat the workout? How can right. I be mm -hmm. the most efficient at what I'm doing? Well, yeah. even like we yeah. solve the puzzle, right? You know, yeah. Like okay, where am I going to put my rest set? Where am I going right. to do this, do that? So like that's kind of a new different mental thing I yeah. want to do with if like, you can't pick your it, poisons right. or whatever. Yeah, this is interesting. Though. So cool. now you you give me thinking more. So I'm like. So like hearing you say that, and I said like yeah, like how you pick it. That's why I'm more like mystified, and dumbfounded by 1100s because then I'm like, how are they beating my game? Like it's not, not not really, but it's like, how is that possible? That, that I'm literally like, I don't know. People how. are fucking strong. I know yeah, that they. That's are, what it is. Like, There's that. It's like it, they're just strong. It's, it's. It, I see it every morning. I don't know why it. Yeah. Not surprises me, but I'm in awe mm -hmm. every single day. But it, it, it's in, it's incredible. They're not just yeah. they, they they're not just strong or, or have extreme cardio. They're gifted cardio, but they also would have to have the factor that you do of picking it apart. And right. like putting both of those things together to me is very very tough. Like I just I just knowing how much you think about it, I I think about it putting it together mm -hmm. and then being able to, to do it. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. And it's like it, it's like. I don't know, like a mental game. So if, yeah, like like you said, if you have like uh, there was one who was like uh, mountain by two. It's like if your first two are it's a monkey and a yeti. It's like all right, well right off the bat, I know I'm going four before right. I'm yeah. thinking about the next yeah, one. Right, it's right, like right. Just, So it's not even like the ones you have to pick your poisons or do like do like this. It's like yeah. where are you going to take that three second break? Mm -hmm. You right. know, not there, not there. Yeah, because and, and, and then what I told you with that too. Once you once you start doing that, you know. You don't. You you might be. You might start the yeti here, you know, and then all right, I'm definitely gonna get to four. That that's all I need mm -hmm. to do. Then I'll come back. If you just start mentally saying yeti is to four and back without stopping, yep. you will always do it. You absolutely can do it. Right. It, that's yeah. a total mental thing. K two. Right. I wish we could do those more often. K two is a different workout that we have these things called uh, equalizers. Where the goal is to try to like do it without taking a rest. So like Halo, without do a whole one without stopping, or two, it would two, you get more points for how many ever you did. But once you like break through that, oh my gosh, I can do. Oh can no, do you did a, there's, there's a workout called uh, No Rest for the Wicked. It's the, it's the same thing. Oh, I did that one. Yeah, that was wild. Wow. That that's yeah. that that's one of those workouts where after you're done, you've changed. You've changed. Yeah. You you went up a hurdle. Something's even if it's one task or whatever. Something's yeah. clicked. It's where, like runner's high. Yeah, right? you, yeah. You, you hit the zone, and now yeah. you know what you're. And now you've done something that you normally wouldn't do or um, didn't think you could do, and now going forward, that's right. just normal now. I think it's a lot of like it's having like urgency, but really more being like having efficiency, mm -hmm. where it's like yeah, it's you, you, total you, you efficiency. You pick up the little yeah. things where it's like all right, my when I. When I do a Tarzan, I'm not gonna like walk. I'm gonna like walk with a purpose. So right. like those, that those three seconds is if every time I do it has emergency. It's gonna add up, you know. You, you're gonna. You, you, I might even say you could. Yeah. You, you're gonna die at this. <laughs> so we we had um, it was spikes, two step craze. So I, when I was right there, my last throw, I going this way. Yeah, I yep. threw it and flipped yep. it. Get out of here. So that it landed oh, yeah. right for craze in the next task. I never Dude, that's brilliant. That's yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, but I was I, very proud of myself. No one saw it. I had yeah. to like <laughs> that's point it out. Thought of it. Yeah. Even little stuff like if uh, knowing you have to have Yeah, if you over. if you go yeah. and pinned to something and craze is next, when you're done with pin, set, set the plate yeah. down upside down. I mean yeah. it's half a second, yeah. Yeah. but it's it, it's little it efficiencies like it's that. Yeah. So now yeah. like now it just comes second nature. So mm -hmm. you say, oh, I got that flip over. I'm going to go do my yeah. kamikaze right. and then come back and, and, I, and I, go. I've talked to Mike about this before, but that's like that like um, 
linear thinking. That's how I do like everything. Life. Yeah, yes. like I, I'm always thinking. It's like if I gotta do something over here to go up there. To that, this don't height. tell me that's where it started. It didn't start from this, did it? No, okay. no, no, no. It's okay. just how I've always. I've yeah, because he's, been he's like always that. like like go back to all of, all of our podcasts. There's always something he's bringing up that mm. like he does X, Y, and Z. Yeah, I always like if I'm going if I'm going over mm-hmm. here, I'll, I'll do this because then I can put this here. Yep. While I'm doing this, and then get there. I always yeah. and then when if if there is a an area where I I could I didn't do something and I could have, it like pisses me off. Yep. Mm-hmm. Why didn't I? I could have put this here when I was going over here and I have to go back and That's it's so not Ainsley, Ainsley gets so mad at me like because I'll be the same way right well we're leaving you know she'll be getting ready and we gotta leave by 11 30 it's 11 25 and I'm emptying the dishwasher something stupid <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you're driving me nuts you're trying to do something to the last <laughs> second I'm like I have five minutes to get something done that I could have you know right yeah. I got time to do it let's do it let's get it done yeah right but it's it's a it's a whole month where was that there. going I thought you were getting oh because we were just yeah. talking about efficiencies and yes you know that that's where you're saving time yeah. and uh, able to get further because you only have. Or like I see, me, I, I, I see you like, uh, you know, you'll do some and then you'll have a Tarzan. You'll have your water while you're walking down there for yeah. a Tarzan. Oh, yeah. So it's like just picking <laughs> yeah. up things like that. You yeah. know, like uh, Kathy was like, I never rest for more than three seconds. I'm like, all right, I'll, I I can't do that yet, but like I'll right. try to get down to that number sometime. So right. you know, it's just about. Well, if you want to pick up a new task, you, you mentioned like efficiency, like like how to how to. Okay, so the hikes is a good example. Like I intentionally tell pros not to teach hikes the way that most people do it with the with the jump, the mm-hmm. Diablo, because we there's a, there's a number of reasons why. First is a psychological thing. <clears throat> I'm not going to teach you the, the the way that's going to give you the higher score right away. Mm-hmm. I want you to learn that eventually and then you see the bump in your score and then all of a sudden that's intoxicating so then you're going to keep chasing that score and you see the bump so you're not supposed to do the jump no you are okay now if you're if you're yes but i'm not going to teach you that day one right you know like you got to learn you want to build and all that kind of stuff right right, then also like let them let them figure it out yourself because that's it's almost like initiation that's exactly what it is yes (laughs) so like i'm sure i i know i've told you guys before but i'm sure you've been told for bucks that if you put your hands closer to the plate it's going to go further mm-hmm. but they didn't <laughs> no one told you that right away right it took mm-hmm. took a little bit and then we're like all right it's, it's time. harder it's time to, it's, 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 it's harder, harder upper body oh it's like to get it going it's yeah. time yeah. to let you know but the thing is so so like let's say i have let's, let's say uh mike brought you in right mike's going next to you yep and he's been doing sightless for a couple of weeks and you're brand new i'll be teaching initiation and Mike will be like, hey, when you do hikes, do, do this jump. I'll be like, no, 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 don't, don't teach right. him that yet. We got it. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, like, there, there's a method to the madness of why we have, we don't, sure. we teach you the basic stuff right away. Because yeah. we don't, we want you to make the progress and, and feel the progress, right. you know, the reward of it. So, yeah, that's why it's such a reward. Like, hey, you've been doing really well on this, but here's going to make it a little more efficient for you. Right. Yeah. Yes, because exactly. that's, that's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. We try to, like, and plus, I, there's I so much going on, too, that. <clears throat> These little intricacies that yeah. we're talking about now, like it's going on deaf ears the first three times right. you work it's on wasted. it. Right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like, like someone who's like do, been doing it for a while, like man, like it's burning me out. Like, oh, here's a little tidbit of information. Yeah. Like, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Do yeah. that to me. Yeah, and it's it's we can give certain people more information quicker because they're receptive of it and they're able yeah. to pick it up. And then when yeah. it's even better when someone actually asks mm-hmm. and you know they're gonna listen and take it versus. Mm-hmm. Given unsolicited advice and they don't want to hear it, or, or not even advice, but like, hey, you're gonna hurt your back if you don't, you know, yeah. bend your knees. Yeah. yeah. And then after, sometimes after a while, it's just like, yeah. All right. So to wrap this up, I since you guys are Cyphus students, I want to give you a, a scenario. I like usually like, sometimes I'll ask people like, what's your favorite exercise or favorite trick? Um, I'll ask you both this, and we'll be good. You got one minute, one minute left on the clock, and you're getting ready. You're, you're one task away from scoring like your peak your best you've ever done but you got you got to get like 30 points to get that so it's got to be a harder exercise what's the one exercise that you want to see on the board that's going to give you enough points to get that peak that you think you're but good it's got to be yeah, tough enough yeah. so i <clears throat> see that i don't i don't know the points part of it. Like, don't worry that's okay. kind of a good okay so it's like it, I, it's, it's one task i gotta get there and back that, but it's it's harder it's, it's it can't be like you're you know i gotta push mm-hmm. No, no, I'm definitely thinking of something. <clears throat> I don't know yet. Give me a minute. I can't, I 
kind of like inchworm. I know it, as simple as that is, like I know I can. That's funny you say do simple it though. Yeah. Quickly enough, mm -hmm. but I know no matter how I do it, it's still it's still painful. Yeah. And hard. Yeah. Right. Um, I think that's a, an appropriate answer. Yeah. And that that's that's someone who's been doing it long enough to think that inchworm simple. But like know? it's t it's taken me multiple times to do it now to know that okay, once I do it, I shouldn't stop. Like you can make it a mm -hmm. continuous. Yeah. A simple, not continuous movement, but a halted continuous mm -hmm. inchworm, right? Yeah. And that's an efficiency, right? Totally. I mean, form leads to efficiency. Yes. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to say this because it was the first, the first time I finished. Mm. And it was like maybe like, 40, like a minute, 45 seconds on the clock. A minute or 45 seconds. And it, Bruno Mars' gorilla was playing. And dude, it was, I was over in this corner. It was a five thirty a.m. class. It yeah. was the day after uh, mayhem. Mayhem, yeah. yeah. And it was, uh, it's like it's like the reverse play push, but like your knees are tucked in. Ozark. Ozark. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, a good one. And like my like shoulders and arms were like just mm -hmm. burned out, and like I had Anna right there. She said, "Hey, you can finish this. You can finish yeah. this." And I'm like, yeah. "Okay, I'm doing this." Yeah. And I was like, "I came this far. I'm not gonna not finish." Mm -hmm. And so. Yeah, I feel yeah, like it was, it was a hard, it was, it was like That's the a hardest, great exercise. That's a good one to drill your way through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was totally like, it's like the plate was moving. I'm just like trying to go. And it was like, but that the, the thing that Anna said is a big thing. Like, like, ju like just a small, like a little bit of encouragement. Oh, it was, yeah, but it, it blew the, my mind. The, yeah, the, yeah. the best part about that class is that encouragement. It, it, it went right. all the way down. It was Bill to Roy, Roy to me, me to Anna, mm -hmm. Anna to you. It it, it, yeah. went, it was a great yeah. class that morning. Yeah. It was and awesome. You, you also need to know like how like what motivates the other person. Yeah. When someone says like you're almost there or you got this or like like I don't like that because I, for me sometimes I feel like that to me that's yeah. coming like oh I'm I'm deficient somewhere. I'm right. not, I'm not, I'm not keeping up with the pace that right. I should. I remember some, some some said like nice job. Oh that you know that yeah. Was, when I yeah, when yeah, I say yeah. you're almost there, I'm yeah. definitely meaning that. When I say that to people. No, I know. I no, I'm say saying that. I'm being serious. <laughs> oh no, you definitely mean you mean that you're almost there. No, I mean oh. what you said. That you're deficient. What? What did you just say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm just. I can't believe you're, ser you're being serious right now. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I'm, like, like, I'm like, I'm like, there's no way he's being serious right now. Sometimes he's such a smart ass. I'm like, I'm like, I can't tell if he's joking or not. Play poker, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Anyways, yeah, no. So I think Ozark was a great, yeah, like, it, yeah, a great one because it's it's t it's tough. It's definitely tough, yeah. especially mm -hmm. sticky. Um, all right, I mean, this has been a chupacabra was good today. It was good to four, right? Oh, dude, oh, what yeah. was that one again? It was a uh, oh, upside down. Oh man, that was awesome. That was pretty cool. We should do that more often because yeah. when I did it, I was like, this is something it's we could totally do. It's, it's not. Over and you do a push up oh, on boy. it. And it's just. That. It's a little slippery if you're really sweating oh, like yeah. it were. So that's the only thing that, that I'm worried about right. on it, but it's awesome. And I it's like not how, 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 how it's 25 is too tight, yeah. I think, for some. Yeah, I was telling them to, <coughs> to, to take it off. Yeah. Use a 45. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, it's, we used to do, before I opened here, I mean, we used to do so many things upside down. Play. We would do potty shots upside down. We would do plate oh, pushes upside down. We did the we did hikes for when we did the 100. It was did awesome, you? yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's a totally different. It's yeah. like you could do two hundred more exercises, yeah. but it's kind of a pain to lift oh, yeah. stuff. So, all right, guys, thanks for coming. Yeah, I mean, this was it was good. I mean, this was a good conversation. Was, pretty, yeah. uh, pretty siphons deep. So, all right, you guys have been watching the Form First podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tuning in.